Okay. Okay, so would right. you like to tell me a bit about who you are? Right, I'm Karen and I live in South Kilworth. Have lived in our house for 26 years. Um, have a husband, and then we have a son and husband, Duncan, and a daughter and a son that are working. Worked at school for a while as well. Um, I'm a nursery nurse by trade, as you'd say. Um, so spent six, seven years at North Kilworth School in the preschool and reception. Mm -hmm. Loved it, as you would. Um, so then had a break from nursery nursing and did a bit of van driving, van <laughs> which driving. was completely different <laughs> okay. in a male, well, from a female orientated job to a male orientated job. Anyway, at the moment I'm classed as retired, which is lovely um, for now, although I do get bored. But then when this came up, so basically this started with T-Rex. I think, I think it was Maddie, although one at Sophie thought it she said it was Rachel but I think it was Maddie had seen something online or on Facebook or something of a another village come town that had got dinosaurs wandering around and she said oh this looks really cool anybody interested in in doing something similar so then loads of people sort of got involved so what time was this was this right at the start of lockdown yeah I think it was about it, it must have been early April, I think. I'm sure it was early April, because yeah. I think he, went, he said, I've, I've got on my phone really what times we've set off out. Yeah. But it all happened really quickly because um, somebody said, oh, well, we could do a similar theme. And my next door neighbor, Leslie, she'd got some costumes and she said, oh, did anybody want to use this? And then somebody went on Amazon and said, oh, you can get a, a dinosaur costume for 55, 6, I can't remember how much yeah. it was. So if everybody chipped in that would be interested. So some of us, me including Leslie next door, put a fiver in and this is how we managed to buy the costume. And this was the goal of this was to? I think just to bring, we just thought it would be funny. And we just, I mean, as a nursery nurse, I had a different perspective on it. I think for the rest, for the young, because I think, the majority of the girls are younger, uh -huh. uh, you know, with young families. So they was just thinking their kids would love a dinosaur wandering. And I think they were probably absolutely bored out their head by now or yeah. trying to think of activities for little ones because it must have been a nightmare with little ones. And I can only yeah. put my hands, you know, out mm. for them and yeah. I'm hand on the heart thinking, God, I don't know whether. You know, I'm used to having big groups of children, but yeah. to have them at home, not being able yeah. to get out or do anything. And, and at the start, they perhaps weren't as well set up with the homeschooling I know, sort of I know. information. So, yeah, so, so, so a lot of bored children and you yeah. thought we could do something. So I think they wanted something to just make the kids laugh and, and them laugh as well, I think, you know, just to put a little... Because everybody was so down, because it was really bad at the time, because the numbers were really high and we were in complete lockdown by then. Mm. And I think everybody just needed something light-hearted. Yeah. So anyway, this costume was then ordered, because then it was a decision whether we wanted a black one or a blue one, which was hilarious. So then everybody decided on a blue one, don't know why. Um, and then Sophie said, oh, well, shall I get it? Or did they have it delivered to Sophie? I think Rachel sorted it out um, and it got delivered to Sophie because she said, oh, Guy, my boyfriend will do it. Bless him. I mean, he, you know, he, I think she roped him in. And do you know what? He was so good. But I'll tell you about that later. Um, so I think it arrived there and they were literally so keen because it arrived on Saturday, I think, Saturday afternoon. And he was out in it on the Sunday, but it was like the most horrendous hot weather and I remember because I said oh shall I ring um, Andrew Carpenter the photographer from the Harbour Mail hence it's in here and um, one of the ladies said yeah go for it and she gave me his number so I rang him and he was really interested so he turned up on the Sunday as well so I met him up at the garage and he'd already sort of was on his way around um, Guy as T-Rex to him, yeah um, and the kids were just hilarious but before that had happened <clears throat> I'd said while we were waiting for it to come I said being the nursery nurse in me 
I said, oh, I said, there's lots and lots and lots of activities you can all do uh -huh. as homeschooling that would be dinosaur related. So I went online as well. And then I, on, I don't do Facebook particularly, but on the WhatsApp group, because we had the dinosaur group to inform parents when he was out and we also had behind the scenes group to set it all up so on both we i set out all these ideas and stuff because i got carried away myself and i went oh my god i want grandchildren <laughs> you know i just felt that i wanted to do something so i made a dinosaur as well and he went in the hedge on a scaffolding pole, which was quite funny until he got wet, <laughs> raining. Um, but he looked quite cool. Um, and kiddies were stopping as they were walking past because we're on North Road, so we get a lot of people walking past. Um, so I was, like I say, sending all these activities and like quite a few parents went, oh, that sounds really cool. And, and we said, if the kiddies do something that's either in the window or in the garden, then T-Rex Tim will know where to go because he'll know that there are people that want to see him. So then, of course, we got photos on the WhatsApp of all the different dinosaurs, which was hilarious. And the little cottage that's joined to the pub, I mean, they'd even put dinosaur prints on the outside. I couldn't believe it, on their <laughs> lovely, nice painted cottage. Then I'd like little dinosaur footprints. So I think it was lovely because it then became quite community-based activity, yeah. plus a learning activity if if the parents wanted to go that way and then sophie because i put a picture of mine and went sophie went we don't all have to be blue peter presenters which was quite funny <laughs> and she said just a picture would be all right you know or a handprint because i said you could make dinosaurs with handprints and everything and footprints and stuff so um so then it all became like all these parents sending pictures of I think the kids were supposed to have done it, but I think most of the time it was the parents that you could tell that the parents had done it. Um, so, so that it became quite, a whole family activity. Yeah, yeah, so that was quite funny. And it was quite sweet to walk around the village and see all these different works of art. So on the day that Tim went out, it was so hot and um, he was getting boiling and I'd taken some bottles of water up for him and at one bit he had to have a bit of a break behind the pub uh, hedge to get some water <laughs> down him um, but yeah and he was so good because he he pretended that he was frightened of the children so yeah. he was like running away when he saw them and yeah. and he walked down the main road near the petrol station and it was hilarious because he was in the road like the cars like just obviously not belonging to our village it was just so funny and they were like you could see them driving with people looking at her. and there was an old lady i don't know what her name is bless her and she came out and she went what's going on and i said oh i said this is t-rex tim i said have you not heard and she went well, I do Facebook, which made me laugh. <laughs> and I said, well, I don't. And um, she said, I'll have a look. So I tried to explain to her. So she thought it was hilarious. Um, and like I say, we got loads of passers-by that were pipping and things. So bless him, he walked quite a lot. Yeah. And How then many I, times did he go out? And well, he went out. Well, then he had a problem because, of course, he needed... It's like... Um, it's it's got a fan inside it to sort of oh, uh, to elevate it, up. it yeah, up. Yeah. and of course the fan broke because ah. it was so hot so then that was funny because it said t-rex tim's had to have a bit of a break because his fans broken and then sophie they were obviously trying to fix it then sophie came on and went does anybody know how to fix a fan because we can't do it and then penny squires got her dad i think involved and he had to go and fix it and he fixed it so then he went back out again once his fan was working so he went out twice in one day and then i because i come from south i'd said could the kids in south be involved and they said yeah so i said to him is he going to do monday so he did monday again another hot day so i walked around south with him finding all and i mean there was just kids everywhere in south i don't know where they all came from especially at lays crescent it was hilarious because oh and they were all dressed in dinosaur outfits and everything it was so sweet and they kept leaving him beer which was so funny <laughs> he got bottles of beer everywhere that the families had left for him so um so we did quite he did quite a circuit of of um south and then 
I think a couple of days later, he went to North, because I've still got a friend who works at North, one of the teachers there, Mrs Owen, and I said to her, I said, oh, T-Rex Tim, I said, do you want him to, can he come into school, do you think? I mean, it was a bit, with it being locked down, and she said, well, he could go in the garden, so we, I managed to get him in, and he sat in the pirate ship and read a book and everything, so I've got photographs of him doing that, which is hilarious. So she said that was really good, because she was doing online learning as well, so she was sending photos to the kids mm -hmm. of him being in the garden. So that was quite nice because then it connected the school with it as well. Yeah. And South were desperate to get him into South, but they couldn't work out at the right time for the deputy head to be there to open school and blah, blah, blah. And then Guy was busy, then it was too hot again. So I don't think he actually got into the gardens, but I did get some photographs of him outside school. Yeah. So then um, I... Um, I sort Let's of just uh, wait a second, we'll, oh, we'll let sorry. this go fast and then we'll... Oh yeah, because it'll pick up on there, won't it? Yeah. So yeah, so that was my kind of involvement, really, which was, it was just really sweet to Have see... Have you got a favourite memory? Um, um, I mean, there was quite a funny bit up in North that was because um, they're in the paper there. They'd, they'd done a, a box and made dinosaur eggs because we'd suggested making dinosaur eggs and he looked at them and then he sat on them. <laughs> so the guy actually sat on this box, which was so funny. <laughs> so that was quite a highlight. Okay. And then talking to the old lady, because she said, I came out, she said, I thought I needed to go and get my glasses, she said. <laughs> she was so funny. She said, I thought, what's that? And Because, um, you know, if you don't know anything about it and you see a dinosaur yeah. wandering about it's the street. It's not what you're expecting to no, see in the no. uh, Kilworth so, Village. Just there, um, no. I mean, Andrew Carpenter, he was quite good and he, he took loads of photographs and he was quite impressed with the artwork as well. And we, we tried to obviously keep to social distancing as best we could, because I mean, the kids were so excited that I think yeah. they got carried away, but with the little ones, it wasn't so bad, I suppose. Um, because at Lay's Crescent, they were all sort of out. But I, I'll give them the due, they did stay in their family groups. Yeah. But again, he was, he was like running away from them so they were chasing him but it, that was quite funny yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah I mean it was just I mean you know I walked plenty of miles that day I, I think I put in quite a few thousand steps that day with him so goodness knows how he felt because it must have been boiling in the suit for yeah. him because the days we did it it was just so hot yeah. um, how many yeah. people were involved okay, you just want to summarize just, is it, yeah I mean so looking back with I mean, you know, really, it's like six months of it, really, isn't it? Mm. Um, I'm still cautious, still not, like I say, not doing the pubs, restaurants. I have started doing online shopping now. It's not taking other people's, you know, uh, spaces up, um, which is not good, I suppose, now. But it's just as how I feel. And I think, you know, you get to a certain age we're not in the vulnerable group but we're certainly not in the youngsters group but as a whole i think it was something perhaps we did need as a nation i think because we were particularly lucky for where we are and where we live mm. and it made me appreciate the outdoor space that was available to us the fact that there was no planes in the sky was just amazing so of course the birds and the wildlife were more prominent. Mm. I mean, it wasn't easy for my son, still having to work, but you know, he, he's managed. But as a, as a family, we were, I think it did bring you closer because mm. you have gone through it together and yeah. you've come out of it okay. Cause you look on the news and you see people that have been devastated by it. Yeah. And it just makes you realise that you are very lucky yeah. and, you know, and it makes you appreciate life. And, well, I hope it makes people, it made, it made us appreciate life a bit more. And mm. I was hoping that when we came out of this, as a nation, we would take care of the world mm. a little bit better. But Let's hope I'm so. not so sure at the moment, but we'll see. Cause you, you know, you think, oh, there was no more rubbish. There was nobody doing this, there's nobody doing that. And I just hope that that kind of legacy will stay, but we'll see. Time will tell with that, I think. <laughs> uh.